Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the C++ series. This time I'm going to teach you about booleans and characters. I used to trap out the Rangos, in the cuss I would lay low. Now I pull up and what's like the Django, talking shit then I give you a halo. I just want to count on my pesos, I just want to count on my pesos. I just want to count on my pesos, I just want to count on my pesos. Alright guys, so last episode and the episode before that we looked at the various uh, variables that we can make, including... Um, whole numbers and then decimal numbers or you know floating point numbers so this time we're going to go over the last two variables the last two main variables that we're ever going to learn well for primitive data types anyway so they're going to be the boolean and the character okay and the boolean is very simple um, it's common with well actually they're both common within any programming language any popular one so a boolean is just a simple true or false value so to declare a boolean, you would simply do bool. Instead of boolean, in other languages, you'd actually have to type out boolean. But in C++, you just put bool like that. And then now we give it a name. Um, we'll say, is Cody cool? That's sometimes how you'll see a boolean. It's like a question, basically. So is Cody cool? And we can put true or false if I'm cool or not, right? So if I am cool, then obviously you want to put true, right? Or you can put false, all right? Just like that. No capital letters, just true or false. That's all you can put for a boolean, nothing else. And so we can print out the value of that if we want to. So is Cody cool? Yeah, of course I'm cool, but a lot of people don't know that. Anyway, so we can print that out and um, we can see that we get a one, right? And why does it print a one if we put true, right? Well, that's just because a true codes for one and a false codes for zero. So if you ever print out a true, uh, true value, then it's gonna be one. If you print out a false value, it's gonna be zero. I think I said that correctly. Anyway, so um, let's try doing something else. We'll say bool. Our boolean is Noah cool, and Noah's not really that cool, okay? So we're just gonna put false. So now let's print out the value of that operation. So co uh, C out is Noah cool in line. Of course, I'll be cool, but he's not cool because he's not Cody, right? So we print that out, and we can see that we get zero, right? So one and zero, one is true, zero is false. Every time you use true and false, okay? So that's basically it for a boolean. Um, that's all we're going to do for now. That's just how you set the value of a boolean. But in the future, and actually next episode, we're going to be going over what's called conditionals. And conditionals depend heavily upon uh, booleans, okay? So we could say if Cody is true, or Cody, uh, if Cody is cool is equal to true, then we could do something like that, okay? So it's going to be really cool. Don't worry about it. We're going to go over that next episode, but stay tuned if you want to learn more, okay? So that's booleans, right? That's how you set a boolean. But now, let me show you about the characters. And the characters are pretty cool, too. Um, the characters are basically a variable that allows you to keep track of symbols and well, just one symbol. Okay, so let me show you. So to make a character, we're going to do char. stands for character, obviously. So char, and we'll give it a name of... I can't think of a real good name, so I'll just put thing. So char thing is equal to... And then now we can provide a character. Okay, so we put single quotes. Usually with characters, that's what you want to do is use a single quote instead of a double quote. And then inside of here, we can put any character. And if you're wondering what a character means, that's just pretty much any key on your keyboard is a character. Any key... I mean, any any um, letter or anything like that in the English language is a character, okay? So we so we can do a percent sign if we want to, so that's gonna be our character. And we can actually print this out if we want to, so thing, uh, see out thing in line. And so yeah, characters are pretty simple. They just store simple, uh, like, symbols, really. Character symbols, letters, numbers, anything like that. So yeah, we get the percent, I mean the dollar sign. Did I say percent sign? I meant dollar sign. Now we're printing that out, but that's how that works. But also something really cool, the character actually depends upon the ASCII table. Hopefully you know what the ASCII table is, but if you don't, I have it here. It's basically just a table that codes for every single key on your keyboard, right? Like I said a second ago, that's what characters can store. And so you have all these different codes here, okay? But we're going to be working with the decimal codes. So as you can see here, for the percent, or I mean the dollar sign, where's the dollar sign? Uh, I think that's the dollar sign right here. The, the code for dollar sign is 36, okay? So let's go back here. And instead of having the dollar sign, let's put the, the code for it, right? So 36, and now let's try printing it out and see if we get the same thing. And boom, we get the dollar sign because we put in the because we put in the ASCII code for 36, right? So now we can go back here and do anything we want to do. We can also do letters, we can do numbers. Let's try doing capital T, so 84. So yeah, there's separate letters for capital and lowercase numbers. It basically, so we get capital T there, okay? So that's how that works. It's very simple. You're just looking on the ASCII table and then choosing which um, decimal number you want to choose for whatever symbol that our character you want to use, right? So if we want to use a null value, which is basically nothing, or we can do even a backspace, we can do anything that's on our keyboard, right? Pretty cool, right? But also besides these main codes that you would see on your keyboard, we have these special symbols here. So if you want to print out these symbols, you can do that also. So I, be, I believe that's a euro or a pound. I don't know which one's which, but we can print this out by doing 156. So let's try doing that. So if we, if we put the decimal code 156, 
it's going to translate it into the Unicode, I mean the, the uh, ASCII symbol for us, the character, and there we go, we get the whatever that symbol that is, okay? So that's very simple, I just went through that real quick, but that's how you use characters, okay? We can either do, we can either put the character ourselves by typing it in, you know, like that, or whatever, or we can actually just, you know, put the ASCII code for it, okay? So if you have any questions about that, you can ask in the, in the comment section below, or you can join our Discord, there's a Discord link in the description for you, so you can join it, hang out with this, whatever you want to do. We have about a, more than 100 people in there, so make sure you do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I know it was quick, but um, we're just going through some simple stuff right now. And so next episode, we're going to be going into some more complicated stuff. Hopefully it gets more advanced for you guys, because I know this might be boring at this point, because it's so simple. But trust me, it'll get way more interesting very soon. So anyway, if um, you want to see all the code for today's episode, there's a link in the description for you, so you can bookmark it for future reference. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.